right, Tony? I was able to talk to Greg, actually. Oh, what did he say? He said that there was a mission that he went on with the pe previous St. Hedwig, and they were going to a flesh colony outpost up in the Yukon, and it, things looked really hairy, a little dicey, and the St. Hedwig then used a staff of some kind to do an attack that somehow dispelled the, the flesh or was able to you know, get them out of a hairy situation with that. He called it a miracle. And he said, you're very similar to them, although more stubborn. Yeah. He had a lot of fun things to say. So, I was surprised. He, I, when I mentioned to him, he acted like I had just said, the sky is blue, and, you know, broken the church of God is such religion to be in. So, you know, he was pretty sure of it. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, is there anyone else that you're interested in maybe helping out tonight? You've done such a good job for me. I'm probably a bunch of Oh. Um, I don't really know. Unfortunately, I have been kind of all over the place, but mostly trying to hang out with you guys here. So I don't know who's got another project I could even remotely help with. So. Well, I... Uh, I do have another smaller project here. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember what she had but I know she has those memories somewhere. Okay. Now, I can't quite divulge as I don't have the clearance to be looking at my own history. Mm -hmm. But I have spoken to Jules a bit about what I remembered before it was a race for my drives. And if you'd be willing to speak to Jules and ask her maybe if there's anything that you could do to help me regain those memories, or who may have them, I think the only other person who would give me clearance is more and I think it's probably safer to talk to Jules. Back to Jules. And that's the one with the sun glasses? Oh, uh, great. Well, that's good timing. Thank you. I will try to help. Hi, Jules. Um, so I was talking to Tony and helping them with a project of, of kind of reconstructing some old stories uh, related to the past incarnations of St. Hedwig. Um, Tony said that, so that you might be able to know more about that information well, because Tony's not allowed to look at that kind of stuff. Does not have a clearance? I think Tony, what's the reincarnation of St. Hedwig? Yeah. <laughs> had a vision. Who had a vision? Uh, Kate Hedwig had a vision. Yeah. Um, and was trying to communicate it. Knew that like, if people were to get the pineal implant from Prometheus Labs, then they would they too would see the vision. Yeah. And so in her past life, her husband Alexander Clymore was the first to get that pineal implant, and the first to receive the same vision that she did. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what his reincarnation is, but we have the reincarnation thing that we're here. As for Tony's past, she was a Sark. Uh, she was a Sark? Yeah, Sark, a uh, flesh worshiping oh. religion that is very in opposition to the Church of the Birth of God, although in pre mechan ideology they actually believe more of a balance between machine and flesh. Mm. But, th but that's not what we do now, and to say that now would be kind of heresy, so whatever. Um, but she did come from the Sarkic. She, well, when she first came here, Morgana brought her in, and we thought that she was dead. You thought she was dead? Yeah, they were performing an autopsy, and I saw the footage of her coming, what looked like, back to life as she was being examined. She looked beaten and tortured within an inch of her life, and, and I think there may be a reason why those memories aren't. I was going to say, sometimes you don't want to remember things, some things. But, in terms of regaining the memory, I don't know much about memory, but I know that Talon is working on some sort of memory upload project. Yeah. Can I be able to tell you a little bit more about how memories are stored or where they go? Okay. The Talons are gentlemen in the head, in the sunglasses? Great. All right. Thank you. I wish you luck, and I wish Tony luck as well. Yeah. There are some memories I'm not sure she's ready to remember, but I hope she finds what she needs. Yeah. I hope I can be helpful to her in the journey. Eric. Eric. Jules.
Jules, yep, thank you very much. All right, chat, so do we think we should help Tony get those memories back and learn that she's part of the Sark connection because the, uh, the flesh cult the and the time. mecha cult don't get along very well, so we got some deep lore on Tony going on. Deep lore on Tony? Yeah. Might be a uh, Sark background. Ooh, a so but, those, but those memories were wiped. And Tony doesn't know that yet, so we're trying to figure out if we want to tell Tony or not. Wow. Well, I've got the, I have infiltrated the Entropy Choir on behalf of the Foundation. And I'm trying to spoil their plans, but it's not working yet. I think I may have uh, unintentionally ended the world. Oh, we're going to see if we can stop this. We're see if we can stop this in time. All right. Well, good luck. All right, let's try to get back in here. I'm getting the feeling my loophole may not have been so tight. Hey, uh, choir folk, choir folk. What did you happen to, uh, how did things go over there? Oh, we, we uh, got the information. You got the information? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good things. <laughs> Reporting to the speaker then. Yes. What is the information, if I may ask? Oh, um, shock, confusion. Shock, confusion, curiosity. curiosity. Shock, confusion. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Oh, if I'm the one who ended the world, I will not be happy. Ugh, the O5s are gonna kill me. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? Hello there. Would you be Richie? I am not Richie, but I am Richie's dad. Richie's. I'm Richie. You're Richie. I would like to speak with your child for a moment. Sorry. Of course. Richie. Yeah. What's your name? I am Theron. Nice to meet Very you. nice to meet you. You are well acquainted with June of the Maxwellists, am I right? Jules. Jules, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cool. I have information about Jules I need you to know quickly and such. The Entropy Choir is working with Jules to acquire spiritual batteries that the Maxwellists have. They're leveraging Jules' relationship with you for some sort of protection to get those batteries. The, the Entropy Choir is going to use those to bring their version of the broken god which will end the world as they put it and the, so your relationship with jules is their linchpin to get jules to cooperate if something is going to be done about that it has to be fast okay yeah um okay thanks for that information wow okay and um so they're blackmailing jules they're offering protection is what they say but i don't know what that means it's they're the ones ending the world so it feels like blackmail to me yeah it kind of does okay thank you I'll, I'll talk to jules myself about that but thank you for letting me know yes and don't tell them i told you all right maybe that will throw a wrench in the cogs so to speak gotta do what we can when we can you got some deep lore on tony going on deep lore on tony yeah might be a uh, Sarkic background. Ooh, a sar surprise Sarkic. But those memories were wiped. And Interesting. Tony doesn't know that yet, so we're trying to figure out if we want to tell Tony or not. Oh, wow. Well, I've got the... I have infiltrated the Entropy Choir on behalf oh, of the no. Foundation. And I'm trying to spoil their plans, but it's not working yet. I think I may have uh, unintentionally ended the world. Oh, we're going to see if we can stop jump. this. We're going to see if we can stop this in time. All right. Yeah. Uh, the speaker sent me your way, but did not say for what. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you have anything going on right now? <laughs> well, I have been listening in. We did plan to... We did plan to spy device around the I think finding out who their uh, agents are could be valuable. Can you uh, describe D. Wilcox for me? I see. Thank you kindly. And, uh, to get it out of my vote, and then they didn't. 
compare what they remember. Quid pro quo. Anything to look for that doesn't work in the background or something. We'll find out. So let's see if the foundation knows about said uh, spying and see if they've got me dead to rights. I'm very interested in that hat being the case. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.